most accurate forecast. How's it going there, Central Newark, on this late Sunday night? Stacy Jordan, what a great shot of the moon. Almost full moon. A little dark there right on the edge, right? Uh, tonight's moon rise uh, in Auburn. Sweet shot, Stacy. And the reason why I'm showing you this great shot, because first of all, it's a great shot. Tomorrow night, the super full pink moon. That's right. It's the full moon in April called the pink moon because of a wildflower in the eastern part of North America. That's how it got its name, all right, with this, uh, the blossoming of that, that flower. And it's uh, the first of two super moons this year, 2021. And why is it the super moon? It's because the moon's orbits closest to the Earth at that point, okay? So it's 18,000 miles closer than it normally is in its orbit around the Earth. So that makes it bigger and brighter. How much bigger and brighter? Well, 7% larger in the sky, 60% brighter than average. The full moon occurs at 1132 tomorrow night. It rises over the east southeast horizon tomorrow evening at 736. So uh, just take a look at that. We should have a clear enough sky to get a nice glimpse of that big full moon coming up over the horizon. That's again tomorrow evening. It starts coming up at 736. There are the numbers for today. 59 over 40, just a hundredth of an inch of rainfall. That was this morning. Temperatures, well, there you go. We're in the mid to upper 30s for the most part. So it's chilly. Wind gust close to 30 out of the west northwest. That gives us wind chills mainly in the 20s. Yeah, what happened, right? Back into the chill. Uh, winds gust over the next 12 hours. Uh, they're going to stay kind of gusty near 30 for the next two or three hours. Come down a little bit for tomorrow, but still kind of gusty at times near 25 miles per hour. So they'll add a coolness to the air, accentuate the coolness, I should say. Uh, nothing on the radar right now. We've got a cold front to our east that kind of brought in that chillier air that's over us right now with the gusty winds. High pressure to our west building in will give us a nice sunny day, but again, it's cool for tomorrow. Warm front here, leading edge to warmer air. This will march toward us and it's kind of leading edge to some summer air mass, but it doesn't look like the core of that air mass is going to get in here. All right, let's look at your time cast. So again, it stays pretty windy through the night. Winds ease up a little bit by morning, uh, but still a good breeze blowing out there as you head out to school and work. Few clouds around, but all in all, a mostly sunny sky. We start off in the low and mid 30s. We see our temperatures rise into the 50s. I think these numbers are just too low. So again, let's say low and mid 50s for highs for tomorrow, but the breeze makes it feel cooler. There you go. Eight o'clock tomorrow evening. We've got a good look at the moon. The sun sets tomorrow evening at eight o'clock for the first time since August 19th. That's right. It's been eight months basically. And tomorrow night's eight o'clock sunset is the first of 115 sunsets eight o'clock or later. Good stuff, right? Clouds rolling in later tomorrow night. Maybe a late night shower. Could be a spotty shower with intervals of sun here on Tuesday, but mainly dry. Temperatures 60s to maybe 70 with enough sunshine. The real warm stuff should stay south, but we do get a little warmer Wednesday, we think. Mid 70s with a few showers and thunder showers in the afternoon, possible Wednesday. Chance of rain here and a little cooler Thursday. Showers, wind, and cooler on Friday. Looks cool, but dry with some sun next week in Kellyanne.